Well, in, in, in the med circles, I think uh, data is a, a very key input into any services that you deliver. Um, it's, it's actually the heartbeat of the operations of uh, any national meteorological service. And um, lack of it or inadequate availability of data actually compromises on the skills of the products that you generate eventually. And now that we have issues of climate change, um, the demand for services from national med services is quite high especially, especially user-specific products. And uh, if you don't have adequate data, you'll not be able to generate those uh, user-specific products in order to uh, you know, meet the demands of uh, the users out there. So it's very key that uh, you have good uh, data available, uh, both in terms of space and time. Uh, in terms of space, I'm talking about the spatial network of stations. Uh, in a country like Kenya, for example, we have very varied topography and you find that uh, climate varies very significantly from place to place. So unless you have a very good uh, spatial network of uh, the network, then you are not be able to resolve uh, the uh, climate patterns as well as you should. If, if your product is not skillful and it's supposed to get down to the end users of the grassroots, you find that the decisions they make will not be, uh, will not be quite accurate either. So uh, it's very important that uh, data is available uh, good data is available, products that are generated are good, uh, so that you end up, uh, you know, advising the end users on what kind of actions or they, 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 they have to uh, rely on whatever information you've generated to generate um, very good user-specific decisions in the actions.